The ancient ruins are one of the special lots within Windenburg, meaning you will need the Get Together Expansion Pack to access it. While the lot is small, it's in a really unique location, right next to some of the larger ruins with a bonfire and some woohoo bushes. And we're going to look at 5 different ideas that can bring this area to life and give it more of a purpose within your game. Before we begin, just know that while sims do autonomously visit the ancient ruins, for the most part they will stick to the main roads, meaning that whatever you decide to do with the ancient ruins lot, just know that it's a rather private area. That being said, random sims can still pop up. And with that, let's get started. The first idea is to make a campground amenity centre, and this idea does work best if you have a pack that allows for camping, such as the Outdoor Retreat Game Pack or the Snowy Escape Expansion Pack. Now to truly make sense of why we're building this, we have to look at the full area around the Ancient Ruins lot. While you have the editable lot and the main ruins, if you spin the map around, then you'll notice that a little below this is a huge extension of the ruins that is largely empty and it makes for an awesome campground. The idea of then turning the lot into an amenity centre is to help bring this concept to life. You can build the centre however you like, but I've kept mine quite simple with a main kitchen area to help with food prep needs, including a coffee machine and microwave, because let's be honest, I don't do anything without coffee these days. There's also basic showers and a toilet too, because we appreciate showers and toilets a lot more when we don't have them. I've also tried to make it an area that Sims can hang out in with some social activities, including a foosball table and a horseshoe pit, because yay for games. There's also a small lounge area with a fireplace and bookshelves for more relaxing activities too. I also like that there are some lounges that sims can take a nap on, just because if the gameplay gets a little bit chaotic and sims refuse to sleep together in a tent, or just refuse to sleep in a tent full stop, then they'll have a place to storm off to and get some rest. Let's be honest, adding a bit of chaos to a camping trip is always good fun. It's time to move on to the second idea, which ties in with the huge dance parties that your sims will sometimes get invited to at the Ancient Ruins. And a hot tip is that you can always organise a dance party social event and set the Ancient Ruins as the venue to make these happen whenever you like. These parties have a kind of edgy feel, and the basis for this second idea is to create a hangout area to extend the party and add more things for sims to enjoy. I kept the general aesthetic of the ruins and I added in a hot tub using the ruin objects to build up around it and make it blend in with the environment. I also added in a bubble blower from the city living expansion pack and if you have the outdoor retreat game pack then the a hard play seats work really well with the ruins aesthetic and with a bubble blower. The other thing I did was add a few more woohoo bushes, because you know, we love their versatility. Woohoo, check. Bladder reprieve, check. Plant, check. We love it. On to the third idea, which will require the jungle adventure game pack, and it's to create an archaeological site. For this, you'll want to really build up the area with ruins items, both from the get together expansion pack and from the jungle adventure game pack. Consider adding in a few of the Anatolonian Ottomans which sims can nap on and which fit in so perfectly with the ruins aesthetic. Then you'll also want to add in a few of the pop-up archaeology workbenches. Workbenches can be used to authenticate artifacts that you find in Selva Dorada, making it a great space to train your archaeology skill. It also ties in so nicely with the ruins nearby, and it can just feel really authentic and natural using them in this space. It's worth noting that you can practice archaeological analysis on fossils too, meaning most sims who have done even a little bit of digging will be able to make some use of the area. And if you really go all out and deck the space out in lots and lots of ruins, then it can even feel like a little bit of a touristy site to visit, which can make it quite fun to venture to and take a few pictures at. Speaking of a touristy site, the fourth idea is to make the lot into a tourist amenity centre. The idea here is to of course just make visiting the ancient ruins feel like you're visiting a landmark of sorts and really bring it to life with a few extra things to do. For this, you'll ideally want to add in some public toilets, because bladder relief is important, as well as some food stalls. 
I chose a few of the ones from Seasons, but there are lots of packs that bring in various food stores that you can choose from. I personally liked the Seasons ones just because they felt a little bit more plain and like they could fit in anywhere. Although I will also flag that if you're using these stores, you will need to hire vendors for 100 simoleons to work at them when you visit. Another cool option if you have the Machino stuff pack is to make a little photo area using a fashion mark to decide where sims would stand, which is ideally in front of some ruins, as well as a tripod with a camera attached to it all set up for sims to use to take pictures. I also added in a performance space from the city living expansion pack just to give it a bit more of a lively atmosphere and put lots of little candle lights all around to make it feel pretty and inviting even at night, because the ruins themselves actually light up quite beautifully in the nighttime. And now for the final idea, which is to create a homeless hangout at the Ancient Ruins. This works really well with how isolated and remote the lot feels, and it can be a great option to consider before starting the Rags to Riches or the Homeless Challenge as a place for Sims to then visit. For this, I set up a few lounges, a cardboard dance floor with an accompanying stereo, and yes, we're just going to pretend it's waterproof. There's a grill there too that Sims can use to make some food, and I even chucked in a soccer ball as an extra activity. I added two pot plants at the back so Sims could grow a few things that they can then use to sell to help get them on their feet, but I also kept the number limited just because I didn't want it to feel broken or to make challenges too easy. And of course, no outdoor homeless style lot is complete without woohoo bushes, which we love. One more thing to consider if you have the Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack is a dumpster. And this complements the lot so well and the whole homeless vibe. It will allow your sims to dive for meals or deals, and it even acts as another woohoo option if for some reason your sim would rather do it in trash rather than twigs. And with that, we've reached the end. That's five ideas to help improve or reimagine the Ancient Ruins lot. If you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it and have an amazing day. See you later.